Hey, how's everybody doing today? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. Welcome to the Body Beatdown Friday edition. It's back day, or as I like to call it, back day. Anyways, hey, check out the new shirt, guys. Ooh, if you can see it. Huh? My buddy over at Mac Bean Scottish Fitness on YouTube, uh, he sent me a shirt, and I appreciate it. It fits pretty good, guys. I like it. It's comfy. Uh, nice material. I didn't check to see what it is. It's, it's probably cotton. I think I heard him say it's cotton. But uh, fits nice, fits perfect. I appreciate it, John. And I wish you all the success in the world on YouTube and Rumble and wherever it else uh, you try to go. Uh, everybody follow his channel on YouTube. He's an awesome guy. And uh, he represents for us older guys out there. And I'm hoping that by wearing this shirt, it's going to lift my my strength up a little bit and I'm gonna be able to kick some extra butt today so uh, anyway again it is back day uh, I don't know how much I'm gonna film I may not film anything I don't know uh, I just kind of wanted to touch base with guys well, number one about this shirt and number two uh, about my routine I mentioned earlier this morning I think I did a quick little video this morning uh, talking about my routine and possibly some changing up and some different stuff and uh, I think I've come to I think I've come to a point it's kind of a big moment for me I guess but it's it's kind of a sad moment I think I've come to a point where I'm done going for uh, a new deadlift record um, of course my goal was to hopefully get to 500 pounds and uh, I got to 435 pounds, guys. 435, right there. Got it wrote down. And uh, that's heavy. That's super heavy for me. I never thought in a million years that I'd be doing 435 pounds. So the, the thing that's uh, causing me to uh, kind of, you know, call it quits on worrying about going much heavier, I guess, is, uh, uh, as I've mentioned before, I have a... My neck is bad anyway. My shoulders, all that crap. Blah, 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 yada, yada. You know what I'm saying. Anyway, I got a bad neck. And this muscle, this tendon, whatever it is, it goes all the way up in like back of your ear, all the way down to here. It hurts all the time. And I mean, like you can just take it and squeeze and just, it's the most pain in the world. And oh my God, Whew. it sucks. I can't turn my head. I'm trying to drive my school bus or my car or whatever, and, and I can't see. You know, I can see, but it's hard for me to turn. I got to be able to have some flexibility. And doing those deadlifts absolutely pulls the heck out of that side. And uh, I also have the same problem whenever I do heavy uh, barbell or dumbbell shoulder presses. Uh, the, it hasn't been happening as much with those, oddly enough, but uh, the deadlifts are definitely uh, an every week thing. And by the time I get loosened up just a little bit, it's time for Saturday to roll around, which is my deadlift day, and there I go again. So it's kind of a tough decision, a tough call, but you know, I feel pretty good about what I did. You know, I'm also, it, it's embarrassing a little bit because you look at me and I'm a big dude and I, I'm, I'm huge. I'm like 6'8", 350 pounds, huge, huge guy. But you look at me and you think 500 pounds should be nothing for this guy, but it is. You know, we're not all the same. We're not all built the same. We're not all the same, you know, musculature skeletal system but we're not all exactly the same and i have problems from the head all the way down to my feet with back and shoulders and golfer's elbow and tennis elbow and arthritis and carpal tunnel and bad neck and bad shoulders and bad hip and bad so i'm just having to kind of reevaluate uh as far as my deadlifts go um i will most likely keep doing 405 pounds and that just depends on how I feel um, if it if I feel like I'm gonna continue straining this 
uh, doing 405, then I'll just cap out about 315. And I know that's a huge difference in weight, but it's just three plates versus four plates. So it'll just make it easier. And uh, that's kind of where I'm at with my deadlifts. Uh, sometimes you don't get to reach your goals and that's okay. I don't really feel like a failure too bad. You know, I've kicked butt. You can go back and look at all my videos and I've progressed. Uh, almost every week I've progressed. So sometimes you gotta use a little bit better judgment than the old muscle. Uh, you gotta use the brain sometimes, the other muscle. And uh, anyway, so this is a six minute video already. Um, and I also mentioned as far as my routine goes, doing something different as well. You gotta stay hydrated, guys, even when you're talking. As far as my routine goes, like I work out six days a week and I do cardio seven days a week. Um, I don't know how much longer I'm gonna do that and I've done it for over a year. You know, I've, I've been really strict on my routine and made myself stick to this plan and do things. And uh, I kind of feel, number one, that I need to kind of switch things up, not necessarily to progress or, you know, to get past sticking points and do this and do that and put on new muscle and do this or not necessarily for that, but just to change things up a little bit. Uh, maybe take a little stress off of me Give me maybe an extra day of rest if I choose to, which I may not, I don't know. Um, I, just, I, feel like, I feel like I just need kind of a change of some sort. And I don't mean like Bruce Jenner. Uh, you know, we need, uh, we need to kind of keep things fresh and, and uh, feeling good. And to be honest, the last couple of weeks or so, I've kind of felt a little less enthused on you know certain days, a little bit more than normal. And I uh, just kind of caught myself in the midst of feeling that way. And I'm like, okay, all right, what's the problem? What's the deal? And the deal is, I think I just, you know, I, I need to change some stuff up. And by changing stuff up, I also mean, I guess it'll be, this is point number two. I don't know, 1.2, 1.02, Anyway, I want to incorporate some different training. Now, if you recall, which you probably don't, but early on on the Body Beat Down channel, I mentioned things about getting a tire and maybe doing some different stuff outside and, you know, adding some different type of training methods in. Now, I don't know what I'm going to do, uh, honestly. I'm just kind of brainstorming and kind of want to do some different stuff other than just uh, the standard typical bodybuilder type of a workout that I've always done. You know, I'm not looking to do anything stupid, even though I have considered putting obstacle courses in my yard. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that probably, probably. So anyway, I just kind of wanted to let you know that, uh, you know, things may change up a little bit uh, training the videos may change up a little bit, you know, so that'll be a good thing because how many times can you watch me work out my back? Uh, as far as I know right now, I think I'm just gonna wrap the video up. I don't know if I'll do any videoing, uh, but if I do, I will do something separately. I appreciate you watching. Like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the body beat down. Also, McBean Scottish Fitness. Tell him Michael sent you. Or the body beat down. Whichever, he'll know. All right. Get up, get out, get red, do it to it. Be awesome, stay awesome, and don't be scared to call it quits on some lifts if you've tried your best. All right, I've tried my best, but I guess my best wasn't good enough. Get up, get out, get red, and do it to it.